All right, so I want to do a review on Kabo Kaboki. Now, you might have never heard of this before, but it's supposedly touted as this 2012 hair loss breakthrough thing. And basically all it is, guys, this is a sample that I got because I was curious about this thing. Um, it comes in a little bottle like this. And... It's got two ingredients, and it is 100% plant-based. There's no chemicals or anything like that in it. But it comes from this Gossypium herbaceum fiber, which is basically from this cotton plant. And it basically attracts to your hair fibers, which supposedly um, latches onto the hair fibers and makes them look visibly thicker when you apply this to your hair. And they use... Um, mineral-based colorants, which is a natural iron oxide, to give it the different colors. That's just <clears throat> whatever hair color you have. So, I decided to go ahead and get the, the little free sample of this. And uh, I tried it out. And it's almost like you're, you're sprinkling uh, cocoa powder or something on top of your head. And... From the videos, it looks like it's really amazing. Like, wow, this stuff really works good at, like, giving you back, you know, a, a head of hair. So it looks that way. And um, after trying that out myself, it simply does not work as effective or the way that it looks like it does on the videos. Um, would I ever buy this stuff myself? Probably not. I would say it's better just to accept the fact that you're going bald and, you know, um, live with whatever hairstyle you choose, you know, shave your head and, or whatever you want. But as far as trying to cover it up with this stuff, I don't think that it's that effective at all. And I think that it's probably not a very good idea putting that stuff onto your head because I noticed that it would fall like right through your hair and and land onto your scalp. And if it's landing on your scalp, then it could plug up your hair. You know, and you don't want to plug up your hair um, follicles like that because then you'll just exasperate your hair loss even more and go bald quicker. So I don't believe that it's really healthy to be putting stuff like that onto your hair. I mean, <clears throat> if you want to have, you know, a healthier head of hair, then do what I've always been talking about on my YouTube channel here, and, you know, eat a healthy diet, eat a natural whole foods diet, take some herbs, you know, some vitamins, and, you know, live with what you have. Um, because this is not a miracle cure. Okay, all this does is basically, it's like, um, it's basically makeup for your hair, basically. It tries to mask your baldness or bald spots on your hair, but in my opinion, it does a very poor job. Um, now, if your hair was maybe shorter, you know, maybe maybe it's because my hair is long, a little bit longer. Maybe if your hair was a little bit shorter, you know, it would be more dramatic. And I've watched the bit, the top videos on YouTube of people using this, and then from their videos, it really does look like it does a really amazing job. But you know, from using it myself, and you know, I would give you guys um, and tell you guys the truth, you know, because. That's what I do on my YouTube channel. You know, I'm, I'm downright straight, and I tell you how it is. And I'm just saying that this stuff is not everything it's hyped up to be. And I would, you know, save your $20 or whatever, you know, and buy uh, some natural fruits and vegetables or some natural foods, you know, and just try to be healthier, exercise, drink some water, and stop stressing out about your hair. You know, there's worse things in life uh, to deal with than hair loss. So, you know, um, hopefully this has been a good review for you guys. And uh, I just don't think that it's a good idea sprinkling this stuff on top of your head. 
because um, I'm sure that it will plug up your hair and uh, and it's a pain to try to get it out so um, kabuki you know it's it's an easy way to try to mask your hair loss without accepting you know the inevitable um, so I wouldn't recommend it to other people and that's just my honest opinion and review. You know, you can take it or leave it. And, uh, but, you know, for what it's worth, if you guys want to try something like this, it is, they still have free samples and you can try it out. But I mean, remember, something like this is just temporary if it did happen to, to work for you. But to always remember that, you know, it's never natural to sprinkling stuff on top of your head and it makes a mess of your counter or whatever too so I would only recommend to put things in your hair that you can actually eat that are safe you know because even uh, what does it say here iron oxide um, you don't want to be you know putting that in your body <laughs> so with that I will catch you guys later and Hope you guys are having a good day. If you liked the video, please like, favorite, and subscribe.